Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the course uh, Engineering and Mechanics Statics. On the previous uh, video, uh, we have seen about all the introduction part to statics. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to uh, talk about the fundamental concepts in engineering and mechanics. Uh, so uh, we are going to see basic quantities and idealizations. We have to understand that um, before we begin our study of engineering mechanics, it is very important to understand the meaning of some fundamental concepts and principles. Let us start from the basic quantities in mechanics. In mechanics, uh, we have uh, four uh, basic quantities. Uh, those are lengths. The first one is length. The second one is time. The third one is mass. And the fourth one is force. Length is used to locate the positions of a point in space, or length can be used to describe the size of the physical system. So we can measure the distance between two objects using lengths. You can we can describe the volume of an object. So this is a very uh, important quantity in mechanics. Um, time is a measure of the succession of events. So we have to make sh clear that uh, in in statics we are not going to deal with um, time so all problems or all um, issues in statics are time independent however the quantity time plays an important role in the study of dynamics so this quantity is important uh, when we are studying dynamics but in statics this issue is not important we are talking about um, objects that are at rest or objects that move with constant velocity. So mass is a measure of quantity of matter that is used to compare the action of one body with that of another. The first one is force. In general, force is considered as a push or a pull exerted by one body on another. So the, the quantity force uh, is a very important quantity, especially here in statics. We are going to study the behavior or the response of structures under force um, the another basic concept is idealization in reality it is very complicated to explain a real engineering problem using mathematics or mathematically so to simplify this application of the theory it is important to use models of idealizations in this video i'm going to um talk about some idealization the first one is particle a particle has mass but no shapes and dimensions this means when we are assuming an object as a particle we are saying that the object has not mass and uh, no we are saying that the object has no shape and dimensions meaning that we are going to lump the mass of the object at a point for instance if we want to study the orbital motion, the size of the Earth is insignificant and can be represented as a particle. Imagine how the size of the Earth is big, but comparing to its orbital motion, the size of the Earth is very small. In this case, we are going to represent the size of the Earth as a particle. So, by making the problem or the idealization as a particle, we are simplifying the complicated issues the second the second idealization is the rigid body a rigid body can be represented as a combination of large number of particles in which all the particles remain at a fixed distance from one another as i have tried to explain in the previous video when we are assuming object as a rigid body in reality object may deform to some extent however the deformation is very small so in our case we are assuming the object to be rigid when we are saying the object is rigid for example as we can see here this point a and point b if you have a distance between them when we apply a force in this object there will be some just movement from one point to another point however there is no any deformation in the inside the object so point a and point b the distance between point a and point b is the same in this object and in this object so whenever we apply force in the object there will be no deformation at all 
so this is an idealization making this assumption or idealization we are simplifying the problem the third idealization is concentrated force a concentrated force represents the effect of loading which is assumed to act at a point in a body for example as you can see in this figure here the contact force between a wheel and the ground can be represented as a concentrated force 